What's going on y'all? It's Cliff with Pen Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're gonna be working at Riverview, Florida. We're gonna be doing a paper ceiling job for a loyal YouTube subscriber. Um, she watches the channel a lot, so she had these pavers put in last year and uh, now she wants to get them sealed. Uh, the pavers are not that dirty, but they don't have any sand. All the sand has been washed out. Hold on, let me turn this water off. So the sand has been washed out, so therefore, you know, we have to replace the sand and put a um, seal on top to seal the sand in. Uh, when they install them, they typically don't seal them right away. So um, whatever sand they do put down washes away after, after some rain or rain season. I am gonna be doing something different on this video. I'm gonna try to see if I can do two paper sealing jobs in one day. Um, the other job is in Ruskin, Florida. It's about 30 minutes from where I am, and it's from another lead from YouTube. So therefore, what I'm gonna do here is uh, clean these pavers. Probably gonna have to go ahead and wet sand these while I'm here. And then um, go down into Ruskin, do the same thing there, come back here, add the sealer, and then go back to Ruskin and add the sealer there. So we're gonna see if it's gonna work out. I'm um, starting a little early. Typically, I start around like 8.30 by the time I start going. Right now, 7.52. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some uh, sodium hypochlorite, SH or chlorine, whatever you wanna call it, to the pavers, uh, clean the surface, and then, um, you know, sand it up before I leave. I'm gonna be using the 12 GPM to uh, surface clean, so it should be pretty quick with the Mini Mondo. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment. If you got any questions, hit the bell so you know when I put up a new video. So let's get to work and uh, clean these pavers. So now we got the solution on there to kill all the algae. Let me just show you guys these joints, how they're like completely empty. Like you can't see all the way through. There's no sand at all. All of them look like that. So um, we're gonna surface clean this up and uh, rinse it up, put new sand.
All right, so we got done cleaning the pavers. Now we're gonna wet sand them. Now they are clean, ready to rock, ready to go. Kind of hot out here, so they're drying up pretty fast. There are some stains on these pavers that I'm not able to lift. I'm not sure how long they've been there. They have some rust stains over there. I removed those. There was some other stuff there. I just couldn't get them all the way out. They're lighting up, but they didn't come out all the way. Let's see if I can show you guys. Very faint. You can see it here. All right, guys, I just got done doing the sanding. I had to charge my uh, GoPro. So I didn't get to film that part. But now you can look in there and see the sand inside the joints. This is where you want it to be at. So now let's see what time it is. I'm gonna go down to, uh, I don't know where my phone is. We're gonna go down to Ruskin, clean the other, pool deck uh, that one has an enclosure so we'll clean that too uh, when I come back the customer asked me to clean their driveway so I'll be cleaning the driveway sidewalks walkway and the curbs so when I come back what I'll do is I'll just um, i just uh, put the first coat down and then um, while that's drying, it's gonna take me 30 minutes or so to do the driveway with the curbs, it's pretty large. So um, that'll give me enough time, dry time, and I can go back and do the second coat. This is the driveway here, sidewalks, curbs, you can see it's pretty dirty. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go prep the other pavers, y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, we're in Ruskin now. We're gonna do this pool cage cleaning, paper ceiling here for this customer. Find me on YouTube and uh, wanted me to come out and take care of them. So we're gonna clean these pavers before we start. They already move all the furniture for me, so I appreciate that big time. So let me show you guys the pavers. So, like I said, everything is outside the cage. As a courtesy, I wash down the cage, get all the cobwebs and stuff off. This cage is not bad, it's not terrible. It's not much on here except for like some dust. Uh, on the pavers here, you can see some rust stains from uh, the furniture, which I'm gonna use some uh, paint power from Ameritech to get that off. The same thing at the, uh, I had to do the same thing at the last job too. The furniture leaves some rust, so. These pavers, as I think they they were installed about three months or so ago, so. Uh, I had talked to this customer when he had first got them done and um, I told him to give it, you know, give it some time <clears throat> before he uh, seals them just to make sure they don't have no efflorescence, you know, growing on the pavers. And then you have to strip it and restart over. So it's a nice set of pavers. Um, you can see there's no shine right now, but we're gonna change that soon. So we're gonna clean these pavers like the last time, apply the SH surface clean it and then uh, rinse everything off and I uh, will do the sanding after and for this one I'm gonna be using my uh, my uh, 19 inch whisper wash haven't used it in a while so we're gonna use it on this job <laughs> y'all stay tuned Doesn't matter if it gets in the pool, guys. I know I gotta keep saying that. It doesn't matter if it gets in the pool. Now we're gonna go ahead and shoot the cage down.
All right, so we just got done doing the deck and the cage. Now we're gonna do the rust. Let me put you guys right over here. And I'm gonna be using the paint power from Ameritech. I'm not even gonna dilute it down. I'm just gonna apply it in a few spots. Yes, you should be wearing gloves, masks, and all that. I'm only doing a few spots, so. I'm doing like this for now. spot right there all right so we're gonna let that sit for a little bit and then we're gonna give it a rinse all right so it's only been like maybe like a minute I put this on here. I'm not gonna let it sit that long. Yeah, rinse it off now. Just like that, all that rust that was sitting right here. You guys can see it's all gone. Pink power, good stuff, man, good stuff. All right, y'all, so we just got done. I don't know, keep checking my arm. I ain't got my watch on me. Let's see what time it is. 11.15. So at the last job, I left there like 10 o'clock. So, um, with the sun beaming like this, over there there's no trees. I already know it's dried already. It was already drying by the time I was leaving. So we're gonna um, let these dry, go seal those pavers since all the wet sand in them already, get them out the way and come back down here. I'm gonna dry sand these pavers when I come back. It's not a big pool deck, roughly like 600 square feet. So this is gonna take me maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes to sand, to dry sand. So uh, it's not gonna take that long. The other one is 1,200 square feet. So I'm gonna go seal those. So I'll see you guys when I get back over there. Okay, we're back at the first job. It's just um, short of uh, noon. So two hours was the time we gave uh, these to dry. As you guys can see here, we got some moisture spots over here technically can be sealed you know just got blow got some sand spots i gotta blow off broom off and stuff like that but under here says it's shaded from the sun you can see how let me step over here how dark these pavers are if you look out there you can see the moisture area you gotta let that sit and dry Gonna give it time so in the meantime what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and clean the driveway sidewalks and all that get rid of let this stuff dry up some more before we put the sealer um, you can put the sealer on here because it's water based but you know I personally like to have it dry as possible to avoid uh, trapping any moisture but for the most part uh, the water based sealers you can apply it as is as you see it right here and it'd be fine be no problem but like i said i'm gonna give it some time it's just about noon so let me see 11 56 
I'll just do the driveway and I come back here in a minute. Y'all stay tuned. Oh yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying right there. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna start spraying the ceiling now. I give it two hours. It just hit two o'clock. Uh, I did the driveway and I took a little break. Uh, now it's fully dried out here. You guys can see how it's looking. Uh, customer has some extra fans, so she put some extra fans out there to help underneath there um, dry up because it's shaded under there. But uh, we are gonna start spraying now. Uh, I'm using seal thing sealer today. That's a two part sealer, water base. Uh, first coat is gonna be mixed three gallons of water to one gallon of the sealer, and then um, my second coat. I'll do a two to one. So uh, I have it mixed over there and I have it mixed there three to one right now. And um, that's for the first coat. That should be enough to get the whole thing done. It's 10 gallons. And I'm pretty sure these pavers gonna drink everything. <laughs> it's kind of hot out here today too. So we're gonna start spraying now and um, do our second coat. You guys stay tuned. Okay, first coat is down right now. Um, took me way in 30 minutes to get the entire thing done. You guys know 30 minutes is usually a good time for me to uh, put the second coat. But it's, it's just pretty big. It's pretty hot out here, so it dried up fast, faster. So we're gonna go ahead and start applying our second coat over there, coming back this way. guys we all wrapped up here papers is sealed two coats <laughs> I got some on the rocks the rocks are shiny these pavers here they're that neutral color so they're not gonna stand out or get shiny like your browns and reds or dark pavers 
so it's, gonna, it's not gonna be a drastic look or a drastic change but they are sealed I don't know if you guys can see the rocks <laughs> they're a different color all right now it's time to go back to the other job didn't take no lunch no break today man trying to get everything done so uh, I'm gonna see y'all when I get to the next one all right we're back at the second job right now it's 4 15. Uh, shouldn't take that long to sand, sand this on deck and seal it uh, I'm gonna say I only have two hours so about 6 15 uh, should be done give or take 6 30. So we're gonna send it now. I'm gonna dry send this one, like I said. Let's go. Sanded, blown off the excess. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the coping first, and then uh, we'll do the pool deck next. So I just put a light layer and then use my roller. I got the coping. This pool deck is coming along pretty well. This one you gotta actually see uh, a difference between not sealed versus sealed. I've already done all the way over there. Um, finishing up this last little bit. Give it about 30 minutes and uh, I'm gonna do the second coat. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes. Still got some of those, uh, you know, the little valleys on this, uh, these type of pavers that holds the sealer. Um, they, they take longer to dry, but it will. I think I'm safe to go and um, do a second light coat. I'm not gonna flood it. 
we don't need any problems if you over apply sometimes the sitter turns turns yellow they call it puddling you don't want it to puddle so i'm gonna drop this second coat and we will be wrapped up you guys can see we got some nice color on these pavers now tomorrow she be shining shining like a diamond all right we got the second coat down I'm gonna let this baby dry overnight. Definitely looks a whole lot better. Close this gate. Not so much pale like they were earlier. Satisfied with the project. We'll see what the customer says. All right, we did it. We did it, we did it. <laughs> Two ceiling jobs in one day. First time I've ever done that. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's very tiring. It definitely takes a lot out of you. Uh, it's about 6.20 right now, 6.25, so long day. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when I put up new content. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.